evening, folks, and thank you for joining us on another edition of MJ Adventuring. Tonight, we are going to be showing you guys how to start a fire without matches and how to cook over that fire with a bed of coals. We're going to be using a cast iron skillet and we'll be cooking kielbasa with potatoes and onions. Uh, Jack is going to be showing us how to do most of this, and uh, so we'll just sort of hang around and see how it goes. So stick with us and hopefully you'll learn something. So, the first thing about starting a fire without matches is that you want to have your tinder and kindling, that is the stuff that you're going to start your fire with, those the small bits of wood, you want to have that all ready to go before you ever uh, begin. Um, so you can see what we got going on here. We've got this, which we just saw, um, shavings, uh, something that's going to catch our spark. You got to have a knife and a striker rod or a ferrocerium rod or a ferro rod and then we've got our fire pit and you'll notice that we have everything stacked up in uh, small sizes so real small stuff and then slightly bigger and then much bigger and then the big fuel over here and that's a key you want to have everything lined up and ready to go so that you can build that fire as soon as it starts to go and you're not you know um running around in the woods trying to find um, more kindling, more tinder, something like that. So uh, we're going to strike this and we'll show you what you do. Okay. This is the knife I'm going to, try to use to attempt to start the fire. And this is uh, my tool for doing it. And not using a lighter or matches or flint and steel since I don't have one of those. And it's a stick of ferrocerium. And it makes sparks. Like that. And my tinder will be cotton balls. And wood chips. There you go. Hey, Daddy. Hey, Bubba. This will last pretty long. So you can see how important it is to have all of your, your tinder and all of your kindling lined up and ready to go. You saw how we went immediately from um, wood shavings, wood chips, to that small stuff, to the bigger stuff, and then to the really big stuff. We've also got a pile of split wood that we've uh, got ready. And what we're going to do now is let this burn down into a bed of coals, and then we're going to get our pan hot and get to cooking.
as you can see, the uh, fire is almost completely burned out. We've got a nice bed of coals, so we're gonna get our skillet hot, and then Jack is gonna chop up our vegetables and whatnot, and we're gonna get cooking. And these are some of our favorite herbs. These are Cantanzaro herbs. All right, well, we have everything in the pan now. The potatoes are gonna take the longest to cook, so we're gonna to try to get those toward the bottom of the pan and let the sausages and the onions cook a little bit slower. Uh, whenever you're cooking with cast iron, you want to make sure that you give things plenty of time to caramelize. Don't poke at them and move them around too much as that is a sure way to make them stick. Once we get everything organized how we want it, we're just gonna let it sit and let it cook. guys well dinner is ready and it smells amazing and I hope you saw how easy this was it doesn't have to be super complicated um, you know this is something that you could easily do at home uh, instead of a uh, meal indoors or something you could do out when you're camping or hiking or something like that maybe you wouldn't want to lug a giant cast iron pan somewhere if you're hiking but great for car camping if you enjoy this video give us a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell button so you'll be notified as we come out with new videos every Saturday morning. Alright guys, we're going to go eat.